Hey everyone. Got slightly ominous coming towards the uh, towards the screen. Um, I've received a hundred messages today. Don't think that's true. I think that might be a lie. Hey Theo, Foxbird, and Dwayne Gardner. Welcome to a very very different stream to well. Well, I suppose it's sort of different to what we normally do um but not entirely different because it's still i always get confused i'm always expecting my hands to go that way uh it's wingspan um anyone that follows uh or has been watching all of our cool streams uh hey Dwayne, uh will know that i'm trying to do something different where once a month um we will play a digital board game that's not one of ours um because obviously we've got all of our games that we know that's why you come here because you're like oh my god talisman's so cool can't wait to see you lose at mystic veil um but thought i'd start mixing it up a little bit thought i'd start playing some games that aren't ours um and that's why i ended up here last month we played Gloomhaven, um, and you'll really like that. So, I'll play some Wingspan. Um, I actually think I got this copy, um, this Steam copy, as a digital code from the people at Monster House. Monster House? Monster Couch. That's the one. Uh, Monster Couch. They're really cool, so you should go check them out. And if you don't have Wingspan yet, you should also check it out because it's a very good game. I've actually been playing a lot of the physical um, game recently because one of my friends, is um, he came over and we were like, oh, let's play some board games. Uh, I brought out Wingspan and then he was like, this is the best game ever. Uh, so we've been playing that a lot. But enough of that. Let's actually play some Wingspan. Right. Automata custom game or tutorial. Don't need the tutorial because I know how to play the game at this point. Also, I've noticed I've got like weird squiggly things over my shoulder. Let me see if I can stop those weird squiggly things. I think my green screen thing's not quite set up how I want it to. Right. Hmm. Nope. Nope. It's my bloody hair. That's the problem. All right. That's two. The weird thing is, is that it doesn't. What I'm seeing. Ugh. Falling into the abyss of not existing. All right. I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. Yeah, because I'm, annoyingly, I'm playing right next to a window, which means I do get to look outside while I'm working, which is very nice. Uh, but also it means the lighting changes um, every single time I stream. So that's fun. Uh, that's a look, isn't it? It is. Half of my face has fallen into the shadow realm. Alright, now the most important question of any game is who do you want to play as? Uh, I'll be green and oh my god, I don't remember these. I don't remember these when I last played Wingspan. So these are some of the uh, expansion ones that you can get. Who can play as a smug deer? A badger. I don't like the duck in the coat because I've been playing a lot of Hotline Miami recently and he's given me weird Hotline Miami vibes. Purple Owl is my choice. Solid choice. I'm going to go for the weird Hotline Miami duck. Uh, play it background. I'll go for the fields. That's nice. Rotis, not rotisserie. It's meant to say rotisserie. 
Rotis Spoonbill is pretty fancy though, I agree. He's a fancy lad. Right, computers. Let's go with just four players. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but uh, basic goal map. Uh, right. Next. Cool. I've forgotten how nice they made it look when you're first joining the game. It's very cool. All right. Press A to start your turn. All right. Now, for anyone that's not played Wingspan, uh, the goal is to get as many points as you can. Classic board game rules. Uh, but the difference is that um, there's loads of different things to get you points, and a lot of them are to do with. What are they to do with? They are to do with uh, not only the points that you get for each individual bird, uh, but things like different birds have different effects, um, and you can also get extra bonus points at the end of the round depending on how many birds you have. Um, so for example, uh, round one, I feel like I need to point at the screen, but also the screen's like up there, so I'm getting all confused in my brain. Uh, any chance you would play online during your stream? Sure, I can play online. I'm more than happy to play online. Uh, can't promise I'll be any good, but I'm more than happy to play online. Uh, so yeah, so if you finish first round, uh, so for every bird that you have with a group nest, um, so that's sort of those like group of eggs, uh, with at least one egg in it, you get a point. So there's ways you can get points like that. But basically it's just be the best bird person you can. All right. So what do I want to do? Right, so for each bird that I keep, um, I need to give up a food. Bird. Don't really like the common styling. See, Foster's turn's quite good. I quite like the birds that let you just cycle through cards um, so you can get to the good ones. I don't I need two wheat for that. Oh, I'm playing with the expansion turned on. Hang on. I'm gonna turn that off. Cause I've not played with that before. I feel like that's just gonna It's gonna make me more confused. Um, you choosing five things to keep? No, you chose to keep a styling there. Ah, uh, yes. Um, so yeah, you choose five things to keep. Um, I'm used to playing the physical game where the way that I saw it in my brain is going, okay, what birds do I want to get rid of, and then I'll keep that much food. That's purely down to the way that I play it. Um, don't like the snipe. All players draw. Hmm. Pie build grab. That seems quite a good one to keep at the start. Um, yeah, I'll take that. The snipe has that. Magnificent meme. I was like, what are you talking about? And then I was like, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. The uh, one where he's bobbing his head along, um, walking down the street. I like that. I like that video a lot. That's a good video. Let's see. I know the memes. I know the memes. Uh, 
Oh, so you get to choose bonus. So you get to see the bonus cards um, before you make your choice. That's quite good. I don't know if I've done that in the physical one. See, this is putting my board game developer video game hat on. So this is a good example of how obviously they've taken the exact rules and probably conversed with um, the original designers um, and gone, oh, can you look at your bonus cards um, before you make your choices? Uh, and obviously you can. Um, but whenever I've played the physical one, I've always gone, all right, make your choice of which five you want to keep, then choose your bonus card, because I think that's the order it goes in the rule book. Um, but obviously you can do it in whatever order you want. So that's quite cool. Uh, birds with wingspans 30 centimetres or less. Birds that eat berries. I feel like that's easier to achieve. But are the birds with 30 centimetres or less any good? That's the question. Don't know if they are. So... How did I swap over to that again? Oh yeah, you can read the... Uh, so I have to say the law? Bird law? Not bird law. Bird facts. <laughs> that's sort of what law is, but just in a way that's not real. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for the ones that eat berries out of my bonus cards. Uh, so I want to keep this. So I've got three more to pick. Could pick this. Could do. Hmm. It's a tough choice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this and this. Because then I can play it at the start of the game. And then I've set myself up fairly well. Uh, I was drawing my glass laughing when you called it bird law. It is bird law! If these bird, look, if these birds weren't real, this would be bird law. So it's only by them being real that this is facts. Otherwise, it's law. That's, that's the rules. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. All right. Yes, if only birds were real. We can dream. We can dream. I've also got no birds that I can place in woodland. Choose a bonus card. See, I feel like I'm falling into a bit of a trap here. Where, actually. Okay, let's do it. You can hear the lovely sound of wingspan. Serene specialist or a viticulturalist, both of which I'm assuming are real things. Um, I feel like I'm thinking this too much. I feel like I'm overthinking. Oh. How is that? Is that a bit better balanced? that a bit more as it should be also oh that's weird got faded out squirrel now it's a little too quiet we'll get there we'll get there all right is that the sweet spot pokemon cup of legend it is the pokemon cup of legend it's fast become my favorite cup um 
Turns out I still love Pokemon, and I like to express that every time I have a tea. All right. As long as the audio is all good, I'm gonna make a decision. Because that was a good way of putting off this tough decision. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna get little birds. Little birds, please. All right. First round. Audio is good now. Much appreciate the uh, audio engineering assistance. It's always good, okay. So yeah, for anyone that's not played Wingspan, um, you basically have four things that you can do in a turn. Um, you can either get food, uh, you can get eggs, uh, you can draw bird cards, or you can play a bird. Uh, in order to play a bird, uh, you need to put it in its correct habitat. Uh, so for pied build greb, is it greb or grebe? Grebe. I'm going to call it a grebe. Pie build grebe. Uh, it needs either a fish or a worm, uh, and it must be in the water. Uh, whereas this guy needs a worm and a uh, wheat. What is it? Wheat? Grain? I'm going to call it wheat. Uh, in order to play. So. I really should play a bird. I think that's probably the best idea. Grain, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right in grain. Uh, so. So, when I grab food, I can only grab food that's currently in the bird feeder. So, in the bird feeder, which is here, uh, I can pick from worms, berries or mice uh, in if I draw bird cards I can pick from these three cool kids um, those guys need a lot of food is it better for me to put this guy down and then make a decision from there probably hmm So I can either pick one of these three, or a mystery card, a mysterious card. Hmm. Goose seems okay. Mm, it's only really good once I've got like an overabundance of wheat though. Whereas the puffin needs a lot of fish. Hmm. Hmm. I could go for a random one. You never know. But I'm not gonna do that. Gotta play my bird. So pay a fish. Yep. Confirm. <gasps> not heard that before I normally play games like this with like podcasts on the background so I always turn the volume down um, but that's quite cool that it gives you little bird facts I like that I like that a lot yes so uh, you'll probably notice as well uh, that a lot of these cards have a when activated ability um, so what that means is if I now uh, get draw bird cards um, and I go along here um, then it'll activate all my birds that are on this row um, so I'll get to draw two uh, and if I do discard one of them from my hand at the end of my turn um, so there's nothing that exciting so I'm probably gonna just play you Eggs Pippet. This rare bird's mating display can last for over an hour. Last for over an hour? Jesus. I uh, gotta find pick of one of those nests now. Which nests? Did I mention something that I haven't looked at chat for a hot min? Um, B 
yeah, it's. I've played this before because um, I played it when it first came out. I've not. Uh, the grab from the bird law. See, again, if someone turned to you and was like, ah yes, there's a new faction come out in uh, Warhammer. They're called the Grebs. You'd be like, that sounds right. I wouldn't argue with that. I'm on screen to see the trivia that is narrated. Yes, the trivia is very cool. Um, I'm also going to stop. I'm currently streaming and also watching myself stream because I always forget to turn that off. Um, but I've done that now. So we are in the world of success. Birds in your hand at end of game. So if I get... I need to have a lot of birds in hand. Hmm. Hmm. I hate these tough choices. I'm terrible with these choices. Um, birds must have. Let's see, how many have I got of that already? None. So I need at least. I feel like this is. I feel like that's more doable because I'm actually using my resources. Uh, nest box builder. Uh, nest box builder, yeah. Yeah, it categorizes all the different birds into the types of nests they make, which is very cool. You get different bonuses depending on that. It's amazing how they've made, managed to get so many facts about birds and turn that into a game. Uh, I should have asked first, are you allowing backseat gaming? Always. Always allow backseat gaming, because then when I lose, I can blame you guys. Uh, I'm going to take the nest box builder, because even if I only get four of them, it's still four extra points. So, oh, I've activated a view that I didn't mean to activate. There you go, cool. All right, I now have no birds uh, and no food. So let's get some birds first. That sounds like a plan. Uh, I could get the puffin. No. Wild turkey. Cool. Uh, I don't think I wanted to do that. Is that because my mouth is on it? That was because my mouth was on it. I was like, why is it making that weird motion? <laughs> All right, draw two cards. If you do, discard one card from your hand at the end of your turn. I went to the Spy Museum in Berlin a few weeks ago and they had a display of a parachute for pigeons that was used during World War. I've been to that museum. Give me one second. Here's my, oh, you can see through it because of the green screen. Oh, because it's green, duh. Um, yeah, this is my ticket that I've still got. Uh, I went a few years back uh, and I think they did have the laser um, parkour, which I tried, but I don't think I succeeded at. I'm very doubtful that I succeeded at that. A Chihuahuan Raven? Ooh! That guy's really good. I really like that guy. Let's get rid of the turkey. 
don't know if I'm making smart decisions here. I feel like I'm not. Uh, I want to be able to see all of my things. There you go. Cool. Little bitty bird. I did get a tiny bird, but he needs a lot of snacks. That's what I don't understand. Right. Get some food. I don't really have any small birds. I feel like I've cheesed it slightly. Because I've got no way to get food. And all the birds that I've got need a lot of food. So... You know, wrens in the garden sometimes, I love them. Wrens are very cute. Um, we set up a bird feeder when we moved into the house uh, in the front garden, but it doesn't seem to have attracted all that many friends, um, which is sad, but hey-ho. All right, I'm going to get some more birds because I'm sick of this nonsense. Yellow-bellied sapsucker. Cool. And then I get two more. All oh, these guys need so many snacks. Oh my god. They need so many foods. Hey, no worries. Talk as much as you like. Alright, I don't want that, friend. I feel like I've slightly cheesed it. Because I don't want to spend all my turns just getting one food at a time. Is that, is that maybe the right thing to do? Maybe that's the right thing to do? I think that's the right thing to do. Because then I can play my yellow-bellied sapsucker. So if I gain food, uh, I need a worm. I can't pose the bird name because of moderation settings. <laughs> you wouldn't be talking about a pair of uh, blue belly tits now, would you? Alright, I can play this guy. No, I want to do that. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Yellow cool. bellied sapsucker. Yellow bellied sapsucker. All players gain a berry. Right, well, I don't have. So I've got one. So I'll get. Is this more like Euro? 100% Euro. I say that very confidently. I'm pretty sure it's very Euro. Um, yeah, seems very Euro. Choose. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that guy does seem pretty good all these birds seem pretty good Let me get rid of this friend uh, so I want fish Reroll and mouse. And still got another one. Oh no, it's two. Gain a worm. Yes, please. Cool. All right, now I'm cooking with gas. Now I know what's going on. Oh, someone got two, and I got one. I'll take that. It's the number of eggs that you've got in water. Okay. Oh, the new birds. A bush tit. 
That's the kind of name that you can't post on Twitch chat. This bird, if you do, also lay an egg on this bird. Barred Owl. Look at a bird card from the deck. If it's in from semi or less, take down this card. If not, discard it. Okay. What do I want to do? I want to play this friend. <gasps> I need eggs. I need eggs. Should have should have thought of that. Dis <laughs> Dick this. Dick Chisels? Maybe ornithologists are all a bit freaky. It's very possible. Very, very possible. Um, let's get some eggs. Oh, select birds. I was about to go, I'll lay eggs. Not lay any eggs. Um, yeah, let's get rid of one of those as well, just so I can get an extra. Get some more points for that. And points mean prizes, as we all know. Also, something that I forgot to point out when we started the game uh, is when you launch the game, uh, at the bottom it contains a link to the uh, Wingspan Discord. We don't have that in a lot of our games, but we really bloody should because more people should join the cool Discord also. Weird, freaky, see-through Bulbasaur. Welcome. Yeah, I need to talk to teams about how much effort it takes to put that in. Because if you haven't joined our Discord, which is lovely, by the way, uh, it's full of loads of cool people who talk about video games. Um, not necessarily just ours, but a lot of our time it is ours. Also, I bought a um, fancy new Xbox Series X controller because my Xbox One controller um, was starting to drift um, and it's really nice, like really nice. Highly recommend if you're ever in the, uh, ever in the need for a new controller. cool. Um. Chihuahuan Raven. This Chihuahuan bird is Raven. in the Chihuahuan Desert of the Southwest US and Northern Mexico. Yeah, because now I can discard an egg to get two of any food that I want. And this only lets me get one or two if I discard a bird. So, it now makes more sense for me to get eggs than it does for me to get food. That's quite cool. I like that a lot. Um, so, let's get some birds, because then we can figure out what we want to do. Alright, so, 30 centimeters or less, and nest box. So bush tit covers both of those because uh, it's a wild. Um, so wild nests. Are... I don't know. Bird law time. <laughs> I don't know if it's a wild nest for gameplay reasons or because it has a weird nest that doesn't fall into any of the other categories. I'm guessing it's... I don't know. I don't know what I guess it was. Um, I shall research. Thank you. <laughs> just, go, just go on Google and search bush tit nest um, and see what comes up. I'm going to take this guy um, and I could give up an egg to get another. I don't really want to. So I'm going to take that guy, and then I get to take two more. So... Take a random one. Lay an egg on any bird? 
Oh, it's alright. Let's take this guy. Let's get rid of my dick chisel. Oh, they build hanging nests using spiderwebs and other materials. That makes sense. Also, that's super cool. That's just super cool. Like, all these other birds are just like, oh, we'll get some twigs. Sorted. But, these tits. The crazy, man. Crazy tits. May I send a link to an image? Of course. All right. I'll keep the birds occupied until you come back, Dwayne. Alright. Can I actually click that? Is that a thing that I can do with my life? Let's find out. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Let's have a look for anyone that anyone that wants to see look at this cool bird he's just like mate gonna collage this nonsense what a cool friend I like him I like him a lot Thanks for the research. All right, enough fake birds. Time to look at real birds. What was I doing? Oh, I got some new birds. So, tuck a bird card from your hand behind this bird. If you do also lay one egg on this bird. So I think what I'm gonna do is play the bush tit in the water. Um. And some of the birds about birds of paradise and their weird mating rituals. I've not seen that. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, so I'm going to go and what add that to my list. Thanks for the cool recommendation. I feel like it's worth playing Wingspan just for all these cool recommendations. Right. So I could get three and get some resources. Select birds to lay eggs. Two on you. Uh, one on you. Cool. Then activated. Uh, I'll discard this one. Gain two from the supply. So I want a worm and a wheat. Do that. Cool. All right, let's pay, play this tip. Spend an egg from you. Bush tit. Bush tits live in flocks, and single adults will help couples raise their young. It's <sighs> cute. It doesn't mention the cool nests. Got to mention the cool nests. All right, so the points that you can get bonus max out at five. So, hmm, what have we got down here? Might as well do that because I get some bonus points and I can use the resources in a future turn. So I'm still getting food, so. Cool. Uh, yep. Uh, and then discard eggs. Yeah, so I still get five, so I'll get maximum points. Gain two from the supply. Uh, is there a way for me to see what birds are currently available? Where do I? Oh, 
So the one thing I will say about Wingspan is the UI is sometimes a little tough to navigate. Like, if you're trying to see something specific, sometimes it can be a bit... I know it's tough because there's so many things that you need to have access to. Um, and I am using a controller, to be fair, um, which adds some challenge to it because it's not like you just click where you want with the mouse. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do struggle with that a little bit. But also, saying that, I don't know how we do it differently here at Nomad. Um, I think those guys at Monster Couch did probably quite a good job considering what they were having to do. Like, they could have easily turned around and said, no, we're just not going to do control support. It's a PC game. Don't worry about it. Um, but the fact that there is control support, fair dues. All right. I need to select an egg to get rid of. And then I'm going to get berries and wheat. get berries in the mouse because then I can play my barred owl. That's my plan. There's a lot of thinking that goes into this game. If I play a bird now it'll cost me an egg and that'll mean one less point. So do I just get two birds? I think I just get two birds. You could just get these two friends. Right. Tuck a card from hand. What am I tucking? Oh, it's activated. Tuck a bird card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, also lay an egg on this bird. So I need to decide if these are worth. Yeah, I think that's worth doing. All right, cool. So that gets an egg laid on it. Uh, draw two cards. If you do, discard one card from your hand at the end of your turn. Uh, yeah, I might as well. <gasps> I like him. He's very fancy. One fish to tuck two from behind this bird. Okay, cool. I'm going to get rid of that guy. It's not really lining up with what I'm going for. Oh! <gasps> Maximum pointage. That's what we like to see. I like to see those big points. Alright, cool. So, I think I'm going to play Franklin's Gull in my farmland fields because every time I do this row, I can get four eggs, two, no, two eggs, two eggs, two birds, and two food of any type. That seemed pretty good. I'm doing everything all at once, which is nice. Uh, so you can lose one. Yeah, I'm basically making it so that I only need to actually use one of my rows um, in order to do everything. The streamers made me do research in pet birds again. See, I've looked at pet birds and it's the noise that seems to always put me off. Right, berries and wheat. 
So let's get everything we need to play you, my friend. Uh, so I want to lay eggs on you, you, you. And I'll lay eggs on anyone else? Mm. Yeah, go on then. Because important thing to note is food isn't worth any points at the end of the game, uh, but, f but eggs are. So, right. Discard an egg to draw two birds. Cool. All right, what do I want? So I can get a yellow rumped warbler. Attack anything from a bird card from the hand of the If you do draw one bird card, Hooded Warbler is worth seven points. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Grasshopper Sparrow is also pretty nice. All right, let me get both of these. Uh, and then I'm going to discard from you because then I can gain two food from the supply. So let's have a look what birds I've got. So I could take this guy because he means I lay an egg every time and it contributes to all of my other things. Oh, Grasshopper Sparrow, that guy's just a better. Oh, I see. He's worth one point more, but he costs an extra food. I don't think that extra point that he gives is worth that extra food. Because that's the only difference, right? I suppose if, you're, if you care about other aspects of the bird. Um, so I'm going to get... Two worms? Because then I can play my hooded warbler? Yeah. Yeah! Or do I want Cassin's Finch? Yeah, I'm going to get Berry and Wheat. Because that's what I want. Berry, Wheat. There's a lot of thought that goes into this game. I feel like that's one of the reasons that I enjoy it so much. is Because it strikes a really good balance between that, like thinking about your overall plan, but also being super interesting in the turn-by-turn -turn, um, side of things. So, I'd like to play you. And I'll... Ooh, no. I'd like to spend an egg from you. Cassant fish. Fifteen birds are named after ornithologist John Cassant. Birds in your habitat with the fewest birds. There's at least four eggs laid on them. I feel like this is the better one for me. I'm gonna do that. Three bonus cards. Live in the bonus dream. Alright. So. I can play a dude. Is that the worst idea? Yeah, let's play a dude. Because I've still got... How many... Turns are there left? How many action dice do I have? That's what I want to know. How do I find that out? Turns left in this round. Cool. I will say, this little feature where you can press a button and see what everything means is also super handy. Like. I think this is definitely something that we're going to look into uh, taking inspiration from um, in future games because just being able to cl like not every game needs it, but I feel like because there's so many things going on on your screen at once in Wingspan, like this is a really good addition. 
because it meant literally in that situation I could be like, oh, I'll just press that button and I can figure out what I need to do. Never enough action dice left. Bloody true. It's the bloody truth in it. All right, cool. Because then next turn I can. All right, one less egg, one less egg. I can lay four eggs and live my four egg dream. Two turns left. Let's do the egg mania. Cool. All right, so I get to lay one egg here. Uh, discard that egg to draw two cards. Um, who do I want? Can I see? All right, cool. This is another cool feature. Um, because I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if on these bonus cards it shows me how close I am to doing each thing. Of course it does. Super cool. Um, so I need more with the tube nest. Uh, more birds in general. Uh, and also birds with short wingspans. Okay. So. If I go for... A yellow rumped warbler. Red tail hawk. Cool. Uh, and then I get to discard an egg to get two from the supply. So I'm going to get. Uh, what do I want to get? A worm and a berry? Seems like a good... Worm. Berry. Cool. And then what's the... Oh yeah, my last one doesn't have an activated effect. Cool. So... Let's have a look. Let's have a look what I've got. I could lay another, put another bird down. That's quite a good idea. Hmm. So I'm getting a lot of birds, but not a lot of food. So I'm going to play this guy. Oh. Maximum. All right, have a look at my. So I need to put another one in the water. Um. I need another one with the tube, uh, and I need another one that's a small friend. So, let's start off by laying eggs, because that's the most value I can get out of. Lay a thing on a bird, I'll lay it on you. Uh, discard an egg. Choose two cards. Hmm? That needs a lot of snacks. I think you're the better choice. Because you're worth more points. And I like points. And it's a tube. So. Do I just get both of these? Hmm. 
Nah. <gasps> See, that's only really good if you get it early on. I feel. I feel like a lot of those, um... Alright, discard. Oh, I just looked at what someone else is doing. Discard off you. Actually, don't discard off you. Because you count towards my totals. Discard off you. Gain two food from the supply. I should have taken that bonus card that gives you... Um, Extra for having loads of birds in hand, because I've got loads of birds in hand and nothing to do with them. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Let's... I suppose that's not the worst thing ever. Because I'm not going to be activating that a lot. But I don't need to activate that guy. So... If I go for fish and wheat, I think that might be my best. Ooh, no, not that. Uh... Fish and wheat. Cool. Alright. That was that turn. Four turns left. So, let's say I'm going to plant this bird. I'm not going to plant him. Cool. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. Three turns left. Oh, I can lay an egg. I'm gonna lay eggs here. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna lay eggs here. No, there are never enough action dice left. All right. So I can get some food. Because then at least I can trade a bird card in for that. Because then I can get a... What do I want to play? I want worms. A big want worms. So let's do that. Because I've got... Six points from that. And I don't have enough turns to get any more birds out. So that's fine. Um, not going to get two extra birds out for nest boxes. Uh, but I could get a small bird out, and that would give me three extra points. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So... I'm gonna get a worm. I'm gonna get a berry. Uh, I'm gonna trade in this guy and re-roll. No worms. Sad. Sad. But that's okay. We never knew that, that was gonna work out. Uh, tuck a card from hand. I don't want that guy. Choose a card. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for this guy. I gained a worm from the supply. I forgot. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I'm forgetting about all these things. Alright, cool. So now, two turns left. So I 
play my Hooded Warbler, because that's worth a lot of points. Uh, and then let's take some eggs off some friends. Hooded Warbler. This bird spends its time in the undersea. I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't know if I should, but I'm feeling pretty confident. See what else I can get. Wheat. That's not. All right. Oh, I get to lay an eggs. Lay an egg on you, and then oh, I can play this guy. I don't think it's worth me doing because it won't get me any points there I've already maxed that out I think my best bet now for points is to purely just lay eggs I think that's it don't want to discard eggs to get two cards because there's no not really any point is there yes I want to skip yes I want to skip skip please <gasps> see how many points I've got let's tally up these bad boys get food why not Feeling quietly confident. Oh, get to lay another egg. Take that. Point's a point. Alright, maximum. Oh. Now I get for my bird cards. Bonus cards. Oh, those sweet bonus cards. Success. Success. Happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without all your backseat gaming, of course, uh, everyone that's watching the stream. Uh, so, from me to you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, happy with that. Uh, let's play another one. Um, this time, I'm going to... Anyone that knows me knows I'm a bit of a... Uh, a fiend for achievements. Um, I don't have all the achievements in uh, Wingspan. So I'm going to see uh, which ones that I haven't got that I could get. No, very happy with my victory. Mighty happy. Right. Let's double check how much uh, what I've got. Why is it not showing me my, uh, that's weird. Going on Steam to see if I can see my uh, achievements, but it's not showing me. Oh, side note, uh, right before I started this stream, um, I got a ph I've been getting phone calls all week um, from this London number that I don't recognize. Um, and I finally, oh, I won. That's what you missed, Dwayne. <laughs> Uh, I finally answered it, and they were like, oh, we're a um, life insurance uh, company that's going to be helping to make sure that you're getting the best deal on your life insurance. Um, and I was sort of like, I'm, I'm doing something in about five minutes. So I'm all good. Um, and they said they were going to call me back tomorrow. And I was like, sure, whatever. Um, and then I reversed Google searched their number uh, and it's been searched loads of people being like, it's scam. It's blatantly a scam. People are trying to just take money off you. 
So I'm very much looking forward to uh, when they phone up tomorrow. I can go, oh, so uh, can you tell me more about how you got my details? And, you know, just give me some information about myself to prove that you are who you say you are. I love doing that. I'm a big fan of uh, catching scammers out in the act. Um, it's very fun. It's a very fun little pastime. Uh, so like, succeed in 10 or more predator hunts in one game. I think we can go for that. I think we can go for that. You want to save this game to preserve archive? I'm all good. Right, custom game. Did you see the Max Robber video where they managed to shut down one of those Indian scam centers? I've not, I've only watched a couple of those um, scam, like scam the scammer videos, um, but they're a very fun watch every time I do. Um, I need to watch some more of those. All right, we're going for predator hunts today, boys. We're non-stop predatoring. So, any of these predators. And we start off with no predators. What a good start. All right. Definitely keeping the raven, because the raven's boss. The raven's so good. Um, gain one from the bird feeder. You may cash it on this card. Hmm, don't really like that. I do like this guy though, because last game I had loads of bird cards in hand and I feel like... Actually, I'm going to do these two together and see how far that gets me. I'm going to do these two. So, mouse and then two others and then... <gasps> That's what I'm going for anyway what I'm going for anyway. Cool. Right, you've drawn birds. My mouse. Yeah. That's another thing I've noticed. My mouse likes to get in the way of this game. So it means that my controls get all wonky and messed up. Alright, cool. Cool. I suppose that's that's the downside um, of making a game that automatically picks up whether you're playing a controller or mouse. Is that if you put your mouse on the screen, it'll be like, oh, you're playing with a mouse. And then as soon as you move the controller, it's like, oh, you're playing with a controller, but the mouse is still on the screen. Ugh. I had loads of missed calls the other day and they haven't called back since and it's annoying not knowing if they were scam, best of all, or something important. And we didn't find anything except their location. See, that's annoying. That's super annoying. See, I was tempted because he was like, oh, can I ring you back soon? Um, I was like, ring me back in an hour because I'll be on stream and I can put you on voice and be like, hey, buddy, you're on the internet. Welcome. Um, but I decided that might be a bit too much. Uh, Dwayne's got an idea for Talisman. Uh, an option to only play a corner expansion for a speed slash kill the boss sort of run. Where you don't use the main board, Cataclysm board. It's an interesting idea. Point out, not something we've ever had requested before. Which is always a good achievement uh, when you're asking for things that no one's ever requested before. Um, yeah, I don't know how many people would be interested in that. Much couple people would be interested in that. Um, I don't know how we'd get that to work as well, because I think a lot of the... A lot of the expansions are almost built around the idea of being able to go back to the main board. Like, if you had the woodland, you wouldn't be able to leave and reset your path. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I'll add that to the list of things that people have requested. Uh, I'm going to play my Raven straight off the bat, because he's bloody cool. Does it work well, Geeky Chappy, if you play that? That would be my question. It's 
sometimes you just feel strong. So it does work. It doesn't come up with any like weird issues or anything. <gasps> From any of your other birds. Have I cheesed it? Yep. <gasps> I can go back and do it differently. Cool. I do still need an egg though. That's the problem. A few house rules, especially for cards that send you to the main board, usually make them send you back. That makes sense. Yeah, so we'd probably it'd probably take quite a bit of work to get that to do because there'd be a lot of things that we'd need to change, um, how they work. So I don't know. I don't know how doable that would be. Basically, uh, let's take this. All players draw a bird card from the deck. Okay. Won't argue with that. Give me cash it on this card. Cool. Free card's a free card. Just a thought. No, it's a cool idea. Um, like I said, it's not something that I don't think anyone's ever approached us about and said, oh, it'd be cool if you could do this. Um, so I'll definitely add it to our list of cool ideas that people have thrown our way. it'd be the kind of thing that would make probably more sense in something like Origins um, which is a single player um, version of Talisman because then it could literally be you don't need to worry about anything else um, so it's cool all players draw a bird we'll take that that's a lot of mice but it is a predator can I get that many mice? That's the question. Cool. I think I can get that many mice. Because if I lay... Uh, lay one on you. And then discard off you. Oh yeah, because I need to discard off another bird that's not him. Uh, get two mice. Yeah, get two mice. Uh, but I used to even play with all the expansion boards going from City Highland, Woodland, Dungeon, and even Timescape as a replacement start board. Can't do Timescape, I'm afraid. In a kind of race, ending and killing the Dungeon Lord. That take a lot of work to make it for digital. I can see why that's cool though, uh, especially if it manages to work quite well. Right. So, what do I want to do here? I get eggs? I'm not getting because I've can't place that many eggs on birds. That's the problem. So, who have we got here? Peregrine Falcon. Could get Peregrine Falcon. Let's get a Peregrine Falcon. Let's do that. <gasps> and we draw a thing from the deck. We drew, we draw one bird. Cool. Alright. So I want to... Yeah, 
Let's play that there. It's like a bit of a habit to spend an egg. Peregrine Falcon, diving Ooh. to attack. A Peregrine Falcon can reach speeds up to 200 miles per hour. 200 miles per hour? Jesus. Oh, I suppose that's when it's like swooping into attack. That makes sense. I thought it was just going at 200 miles per hour. Alright, cool. Uh, let's... The original physical dungeon expansion, the rule for a dungeon-only game where people could only go forward unless they lost a battle. You had to go back next turn, the first one to the end won. That's what led to my expanding ideas, the game grew. Okay, so you almost do it as like a... When you're um, in the inner region and you're... Not the inner region. What's it called? The path up to the crown of command. You know what I mean. You must do it like that, where you can only go forward once. Alright. Let's lay eggs. Because then I can... Activate all these friends. Oh, if it's less than 100 centimeters. Oh, it's not. Sad. But I can lay eggs. And then I can take an egg. Uh, in order to get two of any. So who have I got? So I can get two. Hmm. I want. Could just play an American Robin for the sake of playing an Omega. The inner region. Yeah, that's it. Could just play an American Robin for the sake of playing an American Robin. So, what I'll do is I will get a thing and a thing. Yeah, I do like that idea. Alright. No bonus points for me, but that's okay. That's very okay. American Robin. Robins have been known to of a hundred thousand or more. Right. Think I lay eggs? Egg, 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 egg. Is it less? Oh, it is! Munched on that bird. Alright, cool. Uh, and then discard eggs. I'd like to discard off you, my friend. Uh, and then let's have a look. Gain from the supply. Let's get two mice. I've got three, and I can play my eagle guy. Do I play it here? Yeah. Yeah, let's go all in on the fields. So roll a die to move, but it would be more like a traditional board game, like snakes and ladders of roll and move. That's cool. Yeah, I think the main issue that we'd have is that everything coding wise is designed off the idea that the baseboard's gonna be there. So I think if you took that out, a lot of things that rely on that being there would just break. Um, so it's quite a lot of work to get that back up and running. Be doable, but it'd be quite a bit of work. All players draw what we got. Cool. Right. So, what do we want to do? Gain food? 
And then I get to swap a... Uh... Yeah, I don't want you. I don't want you. Uh, tuck a bird from hand. I'm gonna have a, what we got here. Discard a fish. Draw two. You do discard one. It's not bad. Hmm. No. Yeah, it's cool. If we make a uh, Talisman Digital Edition two, uh, compare that in mind. Let's go off the top. Oh, cool. Got something to use all my mice on. Can play all the predator birds. Alright. So I think what I'm gonna do is lay eggs. Yeah, because then I get two activations of these guys. Oh, not that one. This one. Two activations of those guys. Yes, cool. Uh, another activation. Another success. Uh, lay an egg on a bird. Put on you, uh, and then I can discard one. So let's discard you, and then I can get a mouse and a fish. Yeah, mouse and fish. Because then I can play. <gasps> Select a food. Um, mouse. Yeah, mouse. All right, I'm gonna play the owl in the woodland because then I can lay eggs on him. Ooh, not that one. Uh, let's take it off you. Great horned owl. <sighs> Great horned owls are very cool. Prey, Just as a side note. Also, how many um, things do I have? Three so far. Okay, cool. So I can get another one. Well, I could just put him down. Could just put him down. Yeah, I think I will. Common merganser. Adult males can eat fish more than a foot long. Because there's a lot of eggs I can put on him. Cool. Alright. No more predator abilities. So I'm going to lay eggs. And go nutso on that. Cool. Oh, we got... Less than, cool. That's what we like to see. Less than, also cool. Uh, and then you can have an egg. Why not? Uh, and then discard an egg off you. And then get two food from the supply. What have we got in the uh, bird selection? That's how you put it away. Figuring it out. Figuring it out. Uh, so I can get a red winged blackbird, hooded warbler, northern mockingbird. I just get a hooded warbler because it's good. Seven points is seven points. It's not bad. Not a bad choice.
<gasps> Is it a predator it's bird? It's not. It's a big turkey. That's okay. Not everyone can be a predator bird. Right. Let's try and get some predator birds. Because that's what I'm aiming for. Let's get rid of a thing to get an extra one. Not the most exciting turn. Uh, I didn't even check if there were any dice not in the bird feeder. Oh! <gasps> get a bonus point. Uh, I was really looking forward to the stream, but I got stuck in 90 minutes of meetings. Hopefully you'll be on for a little while still, Tom. I'm going to be on for another half an hour, uh, Theo, if you want to tune in. I might not be here when you're uh, finished your meetings, by the sounds of it. Sadly. Uh, what do I want? Let's get a mouse. Yeah, so I'll be here for another half an hour because, as always, when I do these weekly Nomad streams, uh, I like to finish about three o'clock because I finish at four for the work day. So it gives me enough of an hour to any last minute things I need doing for the day uh, can get done. So, all right. Let's finish my meeting. I'll put myself as busy. Hopefully, no one bothers me for the next 30 minutes. You're in a meeting with me. Let's let's talk business. Let's talk about the business of business. Yeah, we can call this a meeting. I'm so used to doing video meetings now that this feels like a meeting if we want it to be one. A bit more fun than a normal meeting. Bit just a, just a bit more fun. Right, the business of birds and business is good. Hmm. Let's lay some eggs, because that always works out really well. Like, you never go wrong laying eggs. Oh, yes. Success. Yes. Success. I'll lay an egg on you, please. And I'll take an egg off you as well. Right, so let's get two berries. Because then I can play a grey cat bird. That seems like a good choice. <gasps> what do I want? I want a worm or a wheat or a... Well, let's get a wheat. Let's get a tasty little wheat. <coughs> Let's have a proper look. Alright, someone's laid eggs. Let's do this one. Uh, let's spend an egg off you. Ooh, that's weird that you'd have a bird that sounds like a cat. Like evolutionary, how did that happen? Oh, do I even have one of those types of birds? Don't think I do. Oh, that's sad. All right. So. Do I try and get some more bird cards? What am I trying to do here? Yeah, let's get some birds. Oh, got a thing. So I've got this guy. And I also want to get... Was 
weird. Frozen up for a second. Uh, we have those in Canada. I've heard them. Do they literally sound like cats? Because if so, that's super weird. Return at the exact same spot every year to call for mates. That's cute. I like birds that do that. I'll take this friend. Roll outside bird feeder. No fish. Right, so I need two fish. So if I lay eggs, I can also get two fish at the same time. One strange cat in the property. No, it's a cat bird. That's so weird. It's cool, but so weird. <laughs> Alright, lay eggs on birds. One, two, three. One. And then two large. Not too large. Lay an egg on you. Next. Uh, discard eggs. I'll discard one of you. And then double fish. What do I want from the bird feeder? Mouse. Mouse seems like a good idea. Mouse in the house. <gasps> Max points. Love to see it. Right, final round. So, I'm going to play my bird. Cool. And I'm going to spend it from here. Let's see if I can get any more predators. Actually, can I just... Smashing it, Tom. I'm feeling like I'm doing pretty well, considering that I picked, like, arbitrarily that I'm going for predators and just doing that. Um, I feel like I'm doing quite well. <laughs> I don't know if that's just overconfidence or what, but I at least feel like I'm doing quite well. Now, the question here is do I think one of those bonus cards will get me more than two points? Because if so, I should go for the Spotted Owl. If not, I should go for the Hooded Warbler. But I'd, I'd rather take the risk, because that's more exciting. And we love a good risk. Spotted Owl. Habitat for these There's at least the four eggs. I feel like that's the best one to go for. How many birds can I actually do that on though? Two. That's only one point. So this is already better. Yeah, we'll get this one. See, that's already worth more points than if I just played the Hooded Warbler. My gamble paid off. Oh, this is the one where I can't even lay any, can I? Sad. Uh, yeah, I think I just go for a crazy egg laying spree. Ooh. Less success. Less also success. Uh, thanks again for showing me your commander decks last week. I have five. Have you played them over the net using a web camera? I've not. Um, to be honest, most of the way that I play um, Magic nowadays is through Arena. Um, so I'll play a lot of Brawl and Historic Brawl on there. Um, but I've not tried out playing the whole above um, Magic thing. Um, I'm assuming it works quite well, but like I said, I've never tried it. So... Get. Mm, actually, turkey's worth more. Turkey is worth more. Then I can play my spend my final turn playing a turkey. Right. 
my final turn? Or next turn is my final turn? So I can play my next to final turn. What we got? Yeah, because the turkey can have more eggs on it as well. Uh, so, I'd like to play... Oh. oh, yeah, I can't do that. That's the thing that I can't do. Right, that... Let's take Wild two eggs turkeys. off you. Wild turkeys were domesticated in the Americas before European contact. I've not played Arena playing a lot of Magic online, though. See, I once went over to a friend's house for New Year's, um, and he was playing Magic online. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, it looks a bit too, like, like it was a program made in 1998, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Like not to not to diss on Magic Online, um, but yeah, I feel like it looks a little bit too much like a Windows ninety eight product. Too large. Not too large. Want an egg on you, please? Uh, there's no point in you getting food because this is my last turn, so. That's it. Hands up. See the points? See if I get my evil predator bird achievements. Oh no! I felt I didn't fill them up. I thought I'd done it wrong, but I'd not. Secretly, I was a pro all along. Cool. Happy with that. <gasps> Let's do the kind of tally. I also like this like slow creeper because they could have easily just gone. Here's how it finishes. Because um, I think in Cat Lady we do that. It's literally just like here's what the points are. Um, but I think it'd be cool to do something like this. We live for the drama. It's cool drama. It's very cool drama. Right. So I should. Did I not earn my achievement? Succeed in 10 or more predator hunts in one game. I feel like I did 10, at least 10 predator hunts. 121 points. Literally, I was just going for predators. That's all I was doing. <laughs> I do like that it keeps track of all the birds you've played. It's cool. Alright. I think this time I'm going to go for just playing loads and loads of individual birds. I think that's my plan. To get as many uh, cheap birds as possible. Uh, so not you. American crow. Predator cards are the way to go. Apparently so. Apparently so. Um, whooping crane. So I feel like this guy is really good to get early. So I'm going to get him. Birds with buildy nests. I like that it uses symbols because it makes it much easier to work out. But it's also so hard to describe what it's trying to say. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try rush out the... Oh, I misread that. I misread that like a fool. So my mouse is back to being annoying. Um, this bird lays an egg on another with a bunch of eggs nest. Hmm. I feel like I've cheesed that. I feel like I've slightly cheesed that. 
I forget that they have a lot of do it from another bird uh, effects. Well, I could get Sprag's Pipit. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, because I've now got this incentivizing me to get loads of birds that have the... Um... Well, I suppose it's not loads of birds. I suppose it's just one. As long as I've got one, it's not a big issue. So, yeah, I'm going to draw bird cards. And I'm going to get this guy. I can play you here. Uh, birds that only live in woodlands. Birds with geography terms in their names. I've got two Americans. Ground nest and platform nest. Uh, that makes sense. That makes more sense than bunch and sideways twigs. That seems more technical. That seems a lot more technical, so we'll go with that. Ooh. <gasps> Eastern Screech Owl. Well, that's not the bird feeder. If any are mice, gain one mouse and cash it on this card. Cool. Okay. Do that. I'd like to play this guy, please. American Crow. These intelligent birds. Uh, what do I actually want here? Let's re-roll. Uh, so I can give up you to get a bug and a bug. Yeah. Uh, I've got no eggs to discard, sadly. The other two are bowl nests and cavity nests. See, this is all too technical for me to remember. Why can't I just call them bunches and bowls? I'll call them bowls, to be fair. Bowls, tube eggs, tube nests. exciting but I'm setting myself up hopefully hopefully I'm setting myself up you play spin wingspan the best way I will thank you American Avocet American Avocets build their own nests but also parasitize other birds nests <gasps> it's already paying off Already paying off. All right. Uh, I now have the ability to get some birds. Hmm. So I could. What do I want? Yellow belly sounds like an Eastern Kingbird. Eastern Kingbird will contribute towards my birds with geography terms. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that. And let's also discard an egg. Ooh. I like the Black Vulture. Just like the Marvel Man. What was my other one? Oh, platform nests. Oh. I'll have a free egg, please. So 
So I could play a black vulture. Yeah, I'm gonna play a black vulture. Just five times when it's full screen default settings was then update uh, today by any chance. Don't think there was. Just bear with me one second. One, one tiny little second. Uh, let's go on to the Nomad chat. Town Square. No. We are planning an update. But I don't think one's gone out. If it has, it shouldn't have. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very much hoping that it hasn't gone out. <laughs> I don't see any listed, but that's usually why that happens. Yeah, I don't think an update it's gone out. So. Yeah, we are planning on an update. And we're working on it as we speak. Um, but nothing yet. Alright. What have we got in the bird feeder? Player plays a woodland bird, gain one worm. It's hmm. not bad. Add an egg to draw two cards. Tuck a thing. Tuck a bird card from your hand by this bird. If you do gain one bird from the supply. Hmm. What do I want to do here? That's the question. Could get some food. Do I have an egg to spare? I don't. So because I don't have an egg to spare, don't think that's the best use of my time. Because then I can't pick what I want, but is anything really, a, when we think about it, is anything really a good use of our time? Right, let's get that, and that. Uh, no eggs to discard, sadly. See, this is the downside. I'm relying on other people to lay eggs. To get my eggs. I don't know if that's that good of a t strategy. A good use of my time. There you go. As long as it's a good use of someone's time, I'll take it. I'll happily take it. I think it might be best for me to just lay eggs. It's not the most exciting thing ever, but. Nope. No one wants to lay eggs. No one wants to do that. That's fine. Uh, let's play you. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. No one wants to do that. Everyone's drawing birds. Well, that's just rude. That's honestly just a bit rude. You know, we're not here for that. Oh, 
I can get food from bird feeder. I'll take a fish, please. People are doing the things. People are doing the things that they should do. Alright, what do I want? Can I play any birds? No, I haven't got the food. So, let's get some food and then I can gain from the supply. Uh, free roll. Wheat and wheat. Uh, what specifically do I want? Let's get a bug. Alright. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Huh. I'll lay an egg. Thank you very much. Play you. Thank you very much. Please. Uh, let's take a fish. You want to lay any eggs? No one wants to lay any eggs? <gasps> you want to lay eggs. Yeah, you do, friend. Yeah, you do. Everyone wants to keep doing all the things that make me look cool. Could take a California quail. Oh, that's a good, good use of my time. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, if anyone's got any requests or suggestions uh, for what digital board game that's not one of ours I should play next, please let me know because. This was a community suggestion, uh, as was Gloomhaven. So, yeah, let me know. Two. Take it. Take it. Could play you. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could just get food and then I'll be better positioned to lay some more birds. Boss monster under the game was taken out of steam. Most likely that doesn't ring any uh, particular bells for me. I think that's probably been taken off. I think you're right. Um, eggs. And then I specifically want a wheat. Yeah, let's do that. Let me do a quick uh, steam search for boss monster. It is on tabletop simulators. Could you show us uh, your skills on Arena? I could play Magic Arena. Uh, also, uh, Armello. I've got Armello. I've got both of those. Um, so I might see if I can... Uh... 
what I'll do is if people have suggestions, I'll put them up on our the Nomad Twitter, um, and then people can vote for whichever they'd want. All right. Oh, my mouse has gone all funky again. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so I can play pretty much all of these. So do I play a Spotted Owl, a Quail, Blue Jay? Let's play an Owl. Um, I currently have three, so I'm only one off. Seems like a good idea. Kickstart, if I don't know what happened, it stopped getting updates and features. It's on the main menu of the game when never implemented. Okay, is it abandoned? It sounds a bit abandoned, which is always sad when that happens. what I'd like. Lay that on there. Spend some eggs. That's worth a lot of points. That's nine entire points. It's not bad. Plain subjects calls. They know the game on Steam. I wonder if they went bankrupt. Possibly. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be the most shocked. It's not, uh, it's not the most shocking thing to hear, sadly. Hmm. I'm getting worm from the supply, thank you. Skip, don't need the bird cards. Don't need them. Don't even need them. Hmm. What I do need is uh, berries, but I don't have any. Sad. I'd like to lay an egg on there, please. of those do I even have? Uh, three! So I get three eggs out of that. It's not bad. It's not the most exciting thing ever. Hmm. It would mean that I'm pretty much sorted for, um, Best way of doing it. Egg from you. These birds are adapted to dry places. They get all their water from their food. Cool. That's a tasty four eggs from one bird. It's not bad. Alright, what do I want? Uh, let's take a worm. Let's take a worm. Hmm. I'll have another free egg, please. Love these free eggs. Not feeling as confident about this round as I did last time. Got to admit. Got to admit. Um. Do 
I get the Bell's Viria? I think that might be the best shout. Bobo Link. Birds that only eat worms. Birds with body parts in their name. Hmm. I think this is the easiest one. Yeah, because I've already got two. I've already got one. Oh, of course, because that counts himself. I think that's pretty hard to do. But I also could get a white faced ibis. I'm just going to get this and get the two points, and that's what I'm going to do. I think that's my best shout. It's probably not the most exciting shout, but it's my best shout. Um, berries, please. Berries, please. Alright. What have we got? I can lay eggs or pick up some birds. Any of these that I can actually play. I think the Bobo Link is probably my best bet at this point, actually. If I can play the Bobo Link, I'll get a ton of eggs. I think that might be the best. Alright, what do I want? Choose bird from bird to the Uh, ooh, do I want that? I'll take some wheat, please. Some tasty, tasty wheat. Mm, free eggs. Always nice. Play that. Uh, get those. Emily Dickinson wrote poems about these birds cool. as rowdy choristers in her church of Free eggs. And then I can. Oh, perfect ending. I said perfect ending. I was like, I'll spend my last food to get an extra egg. But. One on you, one on you, one on you, one on you. One on you. <laughs> What's the ability? Oh, don't want to draw two cards. Skip. Skip. Right, less confident about this one. Bit less confident. But something tells me I'll be all right. Mm, success. I think I might be all right. Ninety-seven. Pretty all right with that. Success. Come on then. Cool. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in to watch me play some Wingspan. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's on. Steam and mobile, to the best of my ability. And Switch. It's on Switch. Couldn't forget the Switch. Um, yeah. 
thanks Monster Couch for sending over this copy of the game. Um, sent over quite a while back. Like I said, I've got a really good relationship with those guys at Monster Couch. So it's really nice to uh, see they've made such a good digital board game. Because, you know, when one digital board game does well, we all do well. Um, it gets more people into it. They're like, oh, this is really cool. What other digital board games are there? Um, so that's why I wanted to really show off um, some other digital board games that aren't just ours. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in uh, and watching me play some birds. It was dead fun. Uh, don't forget to follow us on all of the socials, uh, including our Twitter, our Facebook, and check out our website, because uh, that's got loads of news articles, blog posts, uh, all the cool stuff uh, where we talk about what the things we're doing. Um, don't forget to send in your questions. Uh, if you've not asked a question on the stream or you're watching this back, um, every month we ask uh, community questions um, and we give away Steam keys to some of the coolest ones. So uh, send your questions to questions at nomadgames.co.uk um, and yeah, we'll answer them. Literally anything. Anything you want to ask as a, us as a studio, um, as digital board game developers, as humans, um, whatever you want to ask us, ask away. Um, yeah, follow us on all the socials. Um, tell your friends that Nomad Games are really cool. Um, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell, tell birds. Go outside and scream at birds. You have my permission to scream at birds. Uh, but only if you tell them that Nomad Games are cool. If you don't do that, then I'm not going to be associated with you, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, tune in next week when we will be playing... What the heck are we going to be playing? That's the question. Uh, we are going to be playing... Talisman. So I know there's a lot of Talisman fans out there, so don't forget to tune in. Um... No, we won't. For some reason, I thought this week was the 14th and next week was the 21st. It's the 28th of July. Where did the month go? So I need to publish uh, a new stream schedule. So what we're doing next week is an absolute mystery. Um, so yeah, sign up to our newsletter. Uh, if you go to our website and all the way at the bottom, um, there's a email sign-up form. Um, so you get all the news about what we're doing straight in your inbox. Uh, and probably on Monday, I'll be publishing a Nomad Monthly Roundup. Uh, it's something that we do every month where I talk about all the cool stuff um, we've been doing at Nomad over the last month. Uh, and that's where I put the stream schedule as well. Uh, possibly Talisman. Talisman's always a safe bet. So I think it's probably... I'm like 90, 80% sure it's going to be Talisman, to be fair. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for our um, monthly news roundup where I talk about all the cool things that we've been doing here at Nomad. Um, it's a good way of just like keeping up to date with... Because we've got loads of different projects on. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling. So, instead of doing that, I am going to log off. Uh, so thanks again, everyone, for tuning into the stream. Um, thanks for appreciating me doing something a bit different. Um, it's gone really well, um, so I'm looking forward to playing some more other digital board games in the future. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone. Stay cool, stay hydrated. That's right, I'm talking to you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.